hey guys welcome back to my channel so yeah this is gonna be my third week um reading vlog uh i've recently taken a whole week and a half off in reading so yeah i'm starting this reading vlog a little late it's already thursday um april 23rd excuse me it's thursday april 23rd and nine o'clock at night um i did read one chapter while I was sitting outside um and I was gonna read another chapter but then I started talking to my mother-in-law there in town again and I was just out there kind of like just conversating with her and just really talking to her about some stuff and um yeah so I just decided to put that down so that way I could talk to her instead of being rude and <laughs> sitting there reading um so yeah right now I'm currently in my room I'm going to clean up a little bit in here um I'm I have a feeling it's gonna be a long night and I probably will stay up till morning so yeah one being because I woke up kind of late because I went to bed super late <laughs> um, yeah I feel a little tired but I know it's just because you know sometimes when you just sit around and not doing nothing your body kind of just like gets really lazy well that's me so I feel tired but I know I'm not gonna fall asleep anytime soon um, my sleep schedule has been horrible lately, like the last couple of days I've fallen asleep like early, but then I wake up in the middle of the night or like I wake up like at two or three in the morning and then I stay up until the rest of the time until it's nighttime again, or I'll stay up till like six or seven and then fall back to sleep and then wake back up like at three in the afternoon so yeah my sleep schedule is so bad um yeah right now since i'm gonna clean my room that's what i'm gonna do but first i want to fix the lighting on here you guys see that lighting the fairy lights that i have up there i kind of want to bring them down to where they're like scattered i feel like when i have them the way they are right there i do love how it looks but i feel like it's leaving this wall right here very plain and i want to kind of like zigzag them s some way so that way you guys can see the lighting whenever I am vlogging in this area. And not only that, I feel like um, it'll make it brighter for whenever I'm sitting down here in my little corner and the lights are turned off and when my husband's asleep, um, I'll have more light to be able to see my books in. Um, so yeah, oh, I forgot to mention, <laughs> I was like jumping off topic, I'm, like jumping everywhere. So besides my sleep schedule being off, my husband works night shift tonight, so he went at uh, he had to go in at 6.30 this evening, and he won't be out until 6.30 in the morning, but it's 30-minute drive, so he won't be home close to, like, a little after 7 in the morning, so, yeah, um, my anxiety won't allow me to sleep when he works at nights, um, on a regular basis, but since I have, like, a house full of people, well, not a house full, but, like, my kids, and then my in-laws are here, that kind of eases my anxiety a lot when it comes to my husband working night shifts so I'm not really worried about that I just know that it's weird for me to sleep by myself and now that he's working night shifts <clears throat> yeah I just don't feel the need to lay down unless I'm gonna sit there and watch a movie but I don't plan on doing that I don't think if anything I'll probably like watch Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part two because I've been like watching every harry potter movie lately like a little harry potter marathon for like the entire week so yeah that's my plans for right now i'm gonna clean up fix the lighting hopefully whenever i update you guys here in a while whenever i settle down i will be able to show you how i fixed the lighting and everything and i'll do like a little update on my little reading area i've added a few new things to my reading area so yeah, that's it for right now. Um, I guess I'll check back in with you guys here in a while. Hey guys, so I'm back with an update. Um, I've only read to, to chapter 6. So I'll be starting chapter 6 when I pick the book back up. Um, yeah, it's a little slow, but... I'm pretty sure it'll start picking up pretty soon. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I'm currently reading um, Percy Jackson, um, The Lightning Thief by Rick Ryden. That is what I'm reading, and I have made it to chapter six. I'm going to take a little break. Don't mind that stain. It's from when my chair hits the wall. But look, guys, I fixed my lighting. It's not, it's 
not extremely crazy. I don't know. I feel like I need to buy more fairy lights to like fill this blank right here. And then maybe for the top. But anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna eat some food because I'm hungry. And I don't know. My appetite's been really weird lately. I feel like like when I'm hungry, I'll eat. But then I get full really quick. So I don't ever finish what I'm eating. And I'll just save it for later. And then when I get hungry, like 30 minutes after being full, I'll eat. And then same thing. Like, is anybody else like experiencing like different eating patterns or is that just yeah. me? that's it um i'm liking percy jackson so far i just feel like since i've already seen the movie um and the movie is fairly quick but like you can definitely see some type of differences from the movie and the book i'll check back in with you guys when i pick the book back up hey everybody or hey i am back it's been a few days since i updated you guys on anything um, I didn't want to just, like, randomly update you guys with, like, every chapter that I read with my book. So, I'm currently still on the Percy Jackson Lightning Thief, um, book. I've kind of been, like, slowly reading it. But I'm, like, halfway. So, it shouldn't be too long, um, before I finish it. I just really kind of wanted to take my time with this since it's literally, like, the last book for me to read for this month um other than like the two graphic novels that I have but I should get through those within like an hour if not less um so yeah I really just been taking my time with reading um The Lightning Thief and I've really been enjoying it like I wasn't like doubting that I would enjoy it but I'm like surprised that I'm enjoying it as much as I am I do have like a few critiques with the book only because I've seen the movie first and I've never read any of the books so it kind of threw me off a little bit but um overall like I have no complaints I'm having a really good time with reading this book and I can't wait to continue to see how the obviously I know how the ending is gonna end but it's just I guess I am excited to read about it sorry about my hair I showered today and uh yeah my hair is like still wet and drying at the same time it's like dried but it's wet in some places still so yeah that's why my hair looks crazy uh right now i'm currently in my room obviously you can tell it's really dark in here so it's like one in the morning going on two and i'm sitting here in my chair about to edit a video i am currently watching the hunger games while i edit and then after i'm done editing I'll save it, probably set it to upload for tomorrow, and then I'll read, and hopefully I can get through a little bit more in the book, so that way my next update with you guys will be my thoughts, and this vlog probably won't go up until the end of the month, which is like in a couple of days i believe today's tuesday the i don't know i'm a lost on my days is anybody else because like legit i'm lost like i don't even know what day it is oh it's the 28th <laughs> so yeah this video will be up probably obviously i said on the the end of the month so i have two days to finish my books and get them uploaded or get this vlog uploaded so yeah I do have, um, obviously The Lightning Thief to finish and then Paper Girls Part 1 and 2, or Volume 1 and 2, the graphic novels, so yeah, that's it, um, and then I'll be done for this month with my owls, and I'm pretty proud of myself because I started off really strong, and although, like, I took, like, a week and a half break off because of my last two books, it still didn't kill my vibe with wanting to read, like, I'm still, like happy and not bummed about picking up books so <laughs> yeah um that's it right now i'm just gonna edit and watch this movie and then yeah read so i hope you guys are doing well i am starting to feel a little bit anxious now but i think it's because i need to stay busy with other things so yeah that's it
Um, I will see you guys here in a while. Hey guys, so I'm back with an update, and I wanted to let you guys know that I finished Percy Jackson, The Lightning Thief. This is book one of the Percy Jackson series. I finished it, and honestly, I'm not mad. I really, really enjoyed the story. Um, I do have like a few critiques about it, but I think I'll talk more about it in my wrap up. It's not nothing major. I gave this a five out of five stars. Overall, I really enjoyed it. I think it's super cute. Um, definitely something that I really enjoyed because I do enjoy mythology. Just really like side stories of like the mythical creatures and gods and goddesses and stuff like that. I really enjoyed that. So I can't wait to continue with the series and I really do want to check out some of Rick Ryden's other um books but I think I'll wait till I'm done with this series to check out more of um his other books because I was looking and I believe most of his books are like based around mythology and I really love that uh growing up I enjoyed reading about like the myths that you learn in school and then also when you have like free time to go and like search and do your research and all that I loved that and just really learning about like backstories from gods and goddesses and monsters and my favorite um mythical creature happens to be Medusa I love her even though like I don't know her backstory it's kind of hard for me to figure out which one is the truth um I know a lot of of her backstories are not the best you know um, but as far as like the one in this book, it made her backstory somewhat sweet. Um, so I like that. I would like to think that the backstory for her becoming Medusa was because of her love for her, uh, for Poseidon and her, or you know, having a relationship with Poseidon. Um, but I would also be sad if her backstory was what I've read in other things and yeah that would make me a little bit sad but either way I still love Medusa I I don't know I just even though she's like a woman with snakes in her hair like she's still beautiful you know what I mean like not everybody has a chance to see it at least I don't know I've read her in other stories and they still make her beautiful but nobody can see her beauty obviously because if you look at her you'll get turned to stone that's her curse but you know i still believe that she's beautiful even with the snakes in her hair i don't know she's super iconic and i stand for medusa um so i finished percy jackson and the lightning thief and then i also finished the last two books for my owls and that was paper girls volume one and two yeah um, the first one, I both, I rated both of these a 3 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It's not necessarily a bad thing. I definitely want to continue the series because it did get a little interesting towards the end on the second one. The first one is still, I'm still kind of lost, but overall, like, I love, I love the pictures in here. Like, the artwork is so pretty in here. Jeez. Like, the artwork is so pretty in here. I, I love it. Um... But overall, like, I'm still a bit confused about what's going on. I'm gathering, like, it's some type of, I won't, I wouldn't say, like, the end of the world type of thing, vibe, whatever. But it's somewhere along the lines. I believe it's just, like, people time jumping. I don't know. I'm so confused with the, the story. But, yeah, I rated both of them a 3 out of 5. They weren't terrible, but they weren't, like, good either. <laughs> They're a little all over the place, but overall, I, I enjoyed it, and I want to continue it. I won't say, like, I will go and, like, buy the rest of the series. I'll probably buy each one, like, here and there. Hopefully, I can find them, like, at um, half price books for a lot more affordable than what they would be, like, at Barnes & Noble or on Amazon or whatever. But, yeah, overall, I enjoyed it. I'm glad I gave this book, this graphic novel a second chance. Like, although the first one still was kind of meh. The second one picked up a little bit, but it's still a 3 out of 5 stars for me in both books. But like I said, I still want to continue the series and just overall, I just, I love the art in it. I love the pictures, like the colors, everything, even in the second one. The second one gets even more colorful. This is what the second book looks like. And I just feel like, I don't know, it looks more colorful to me. Like it's just, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but 
I liked it and I liked it enough to want to continue the series so that's it thank you guys for watching I hope you guys are having a wonderful day night I also hope you guys were able to accomplish all your reading goals for this month this is um, my owls the end of my owls I completed all I'm pretty proud of myself so yeah that was what seven books because I doubled up on one it would have been eight books but I doubled up on one so that's good for me <laughs> but yeah uh, I have officially passed my owls on the path to becoming an aura and I can't wait for the newts I'm really excited but anyways thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on my next video bye